All right, we're here with Rusty Bob. First start of the year. So we're close to over, but we've had so many other projects going on that we haven't really run this one yet. There's a long series of videos on this from last summer. If you're interested at all, go check it out. It's a pretty rare General Electric. Um, it's got the plastic grate on the front, and it's one of the three-speed reversibles, as you see, with the thermostat um, and the plate. It's got the nice retractable handle. It's exceptionally heavy. Um, it should have a cap on the blade hub, which it came with. I just don't prefer the way it looks. I like it to have the open blade hub there, so I leave it the way that way. Someday, eventually, I'll put it back together. But we did the whole motor, tore it apart, oiled it, the whole darn thing, so it should run nice. Let's run it to high, and it's on the in position, so this will be towards us. It takes a minute for it to slow down to the actual low. I think that's it right about there. So let's hit the uh, thermostat, which turns it off as you see. And then we'll switch it to reverse. Let it slow down. You're supposed to let these stop all the way. You don't have to. What you want to avoid is letting the motor heat up. You know, the less those blades spin, the more heat builds up in the motor. That's the main reason. Not like a transmission in a car where there's a mechanical reason you don't want to do that. In this situation, it's just good practice. But like a lot of these GEs, now that it's been oiled and everything, it, it spins pretty darn free. It's pretty nice. Um, which is a good good thing to see of course it's a little breezy here that might be assisted a little bit but it's just going so I'm gonna uh, there you go we're still on low here a little bit of a rattle this front grate is held in with these funny clip things that it screws on to um, so there's low more or less medium. Again, this is out. This is blowing away from us, which it does pretty well. You notice it's a little more louder when it's in reverse. A little bit of high. it spin down in the reverse direction this fan is really really heavy uh, heavier than any of the others including maybe even that one it's very very heavy um, uh, but I like it it's nice and sturdy excellent color you know it's not in perfect cosmetic condition but if you go back to the original video you know this one was a real mess uh, it was totally stuck you could barely move the blades and it came back from all that, which is nice, you know. Um, I put a new cord on it. 
because the original blue cord had all these little cracks and bite marks in it. I don't know, maybe the mice were chewing on it. But it was not serviceable with that uh, on there. Um, it didn't need much else, really, um, other than cleaning out the bearings and or bearing. These motors have one. You know that already, probably. If you're watching these videos, you probably already know something about these. So there you go. There's the uh, GE. I forget what the model is on this and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> but it's a pretty cool looking fan. I like it. Um, super fragile front grate, so I just try to be careful with it. Uh, and there you go, but it's a nice uh, nice fan. We'll use it a little bit before the summer's over. Uh, and there you go. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.